You're listening to Five Before, a faith community podcast. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any new episodes. For more information, check us out at faithcommunitylc.com or look for our app on iTunes and the Google Play Store. Good morning. Welcome to Five Before. We trust you're having a great day, beautiful day. I want to continue my series about David today and that David was a man after God's own heart. Are you a man or woman out there after God's own heart today? I hope so. That we have a lot to be thankful for. We have a lot that uh, God has done for us in our lives. But just wanted to touch on 10 reasons David is called a man after God's own heart. And Acts 13, 22 says, After removing Saul, he made David their king. He testified concerning him, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, and he will do everything I want him to do. Are we willing to do everything that God wants us to do? When someone asks you to pray, when someone asks you to teach a Bible study, when someone asks you to do the five before, are you willing to say yes and to do everything that God wants you to do? Or even whoever God puts over the authority of us, like Pastor John, he's over us. He's our authority that God has put over us. When he asks you to do something, do you say yes? Because I believe it's always in the instructions of God that he asks. The following words describe the heart of David as seen in his own writings. And I want you to look and listen to these characteristics of why David was a man after God's heart. He possessed every one of these characteristics, and that's how we can also possess these characteristics that we can be a man after God's own heart or a woman after God's own heart. But David was humble. Lowborn, it says, lowborn men are but a breath. The highborn are but a lie. If weighted on balance, they are no We humans are only a breath. None of us are truly great. We are definitely nothing without Christ. I am all of who I am because Christ lives in me, and I am who I am because Christ directs my life. All of us together, less than a puff of air, together they are only one breath in Psalm 62, 9. We are nothing without God, and David knew that. Have you ever been puffed up, and then you've been stripped? Have you ever thought you were something or somebody, and then God strips you? That's when you really know you are nothing and nobody in Christ. And David knew he had lost everything. David knew what a sinner he had been, but God restored him. And placed him as king. David was also reverent. I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I'm saved from my enemies. In Psalm 18:3, David called regularly on the Lord, and he said, And the Lord who is worthy of praise, praise God in the good things, praise God in the bad things, and know that we are saved from our enemies. David was also respectful. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and my body with grief. Psalm 31, 9. David, when he was in distress, he called out to the Lord. When he was weak, he called out to the Lord. When he was lonely, he called out to the Lord. He said his soul and his body was with grief. He called out to God. God is our refuge and our strength today. Call out to him if you're experiencing something in your life today. He is your help in the time of trouble. He is your help in the time of grief. David trusted God. In Psalm 27, 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. And whom shall I be afraid? God has already fought our battles. We win. If you didn't know that, we win. The end of the book says we win. So 
don't fight your battles today. Let God fight your battles. If you're scared of something, if you're worried about something today, God can fight that for you. Put your trust in him. That's my problem. A lot of times I don't put my trust in him and Teresa takes up her flesh and gets in it and worries and wallers in self-pity. But I tell you today, take up God's cross. His cross is not heavy. Our cross is heavy. David was loving. He says in Psalm 18, 1, I love you, O Lord, my strength. I love the God today that has given me life. I love the God today that's given me a second chance. David was devoted. He says, you have filled my heart with greater joy than with a grain and a new wine abound. David recognized God. He said, I'll praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I'll tell you of all your wonders. Psalm 9, 1. Again, David was faithful. He trusted in God. He didn't trust in the people around him. He was obedient. He says, give me understanding and I'll keep your law and obey it with all my heart. We're to trust God with all of our heart. We're to obey God with all of our heart and all of his laws. We are to obey, obey all of his scripture, trust in the Lord. David was repentant. We know when he did something wrong, he was repentant. It doesn't, it might not happen immediately. You know, Jonathan had to go to David and remind him or tell him he was the one. Maybe today somebody's reminding you or telling you, hey, you're the one. You need to be repentant. In Psalm 25, 11, for the sake of your name, O Lord, Forgive me of our iniquity, though it is great. Repent today if you have something in your life. David's example is a great roadmap for me and you today of how we to live our lives. Which of these areas do we need to focus our attention on today and improve our walk with Christ? Let us pray. God, I pray that we do take on every one of these characteristics of you today, God. Lord, that we not only have a repentant heart, but we be obedient to you, that we love you with all of our heart, that we'll be able to say we are someone after your, your own heart, God. I want to be more like David, and I pray that everyone out there will today possess these characteristics. Again, be with everyone today. God, and direct them in their steps, order their steps and take care of them and all their needs today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening to 5 Before, a faith community podcast. For more information, check us out at faithcommunitylc.com or look for our app on iTunes and in the Google Play Store.